Guys, we recently got our hands on the DeWalt 20 volt 15 degree cordless roofing nailer. This is the first battery powered only nailer that we've seen. And we did do a review on the Duo Fast gas nailer years ago, but it didn't stick with contractors. We've also been using the DeWalt pneumatic nailer for a few years now, and we really like it. And we're super happy to see a cordless solution. So first impression on the DeWalt roofing nailer is that it's a lot heavier than our pneumatic older brother. It's 6.7 pounds, well over a pound heavier, and has a flywheel wind up and wind down sound. It, I was also impressed with how quickly it installs nails and equally unimpressed with the sharp recoil that we feel that you feel when you shoot it. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the review. Hey guys, before we start the video review, my friend and I wanted just to ask you, please consider subscribing to our channel. Just take your cursor, go right to the bottom of this video right now, hit the subscribe button, and while you're there, go right over and click the notification bell. When you do that, you get notified of all of our videos. You don't miss any of our content, whether it's how-to, tool reviews, or some of our really great head-to-head -head articles. Right? Right. All right, the DeWalt roofing nailer looks an awful lot like a reused casing of the 18-gauge Brad nailer. Same shape. Um, it does have DeWalt's famously comfortable grip. DeWalt spent a ton of time in past years perfecting this grip, and it's absolutely an award-winning design. The nailer's nose is also different from its pneumatic brother. It has a square shape. We found it to provide excellent stability and good surface contact. Now, powered by a brushless motor, this battery-powered nailer can drive full range of wire collated roofing nails from three-quarter inches all the way up to an inch and three-quarters in bump mode. It's, uh, it has a tool-free nail tray, easily adjusts, to accommodate those three nail lengths and is a tool free depth of adjustment wheel. Um, the nail canister itself allows for three different positions for that nail lengths. Position one is for three quarter inch nails. Position two has a range of one inch to one and a quarter inch nails. Position three is one and a half to one and three quarter nails. Now the nail canister itself, or the housing, it's made out of thin plastic and not as rugged as the pneumatic nailer. Not a fave. Um, just moving that cordless nailer around on our shed roof that we were doing on the project, it popped the coil, the housing open a few times, which is annoying, as you know. Uh, the thinner canister cover is probably a trade-off uh, to cut weight off the already beefy nailer. Now, the metal nail door clip that keeps this nailer, uh, this door closed, is also different from its pneumatic um, brother. This new clip resembles a spring-loaded slide bolt, which I would describe as sticky and sluggish to operate. It is not precisely machined. It's not a good fit. Um, all right, look, the roofing nailer can fire up to three nails per second, and that's powered with a two amp hour battery. It can install up to 500 nails per charge, or to put that in layman's terms, it can easily do a square, 100 square feet of asphalt roofing shingles. We actually installed five bundles of shingles on a single two amp hour battery, um, which is well over a square. There is no dry fire lockout on this nailer, just be aware of that. Um, the depth of drive adjustment wheel is top mounted and is a turn knob uh, mechanism requiring you to use your thumb and index finger to operate. And we found that depth of drive knob stiff and kind of hard to turn. There's five settings on that knob, and we needed to make sure, uh, when we were using our, on our project, we had to put it on its deepest setting to install flush nails. Um, the nailer has a tool stall release lever to return the driver blade in, in the event of a nail jam. That typically means that the nailer's driver blade did not complete its drive cycle out and back all the way. When this happens, um, the jam stall LED light will flash, and to clear that, you basically need to remove the battery to reset the tool, and then you activate the stall release lever on top of the tool, um, and that lever basically releases the driver blade and resets it for nailing. Um, we used this nailer on a shed roof installation. We installed um, inch and a quarter nails, and it is super, super fast. 
Um, the nailer does have a shop recoil coil, a lot more than I'd like to see in a roofing nailer. Um, and we also experienced a fair share of driver blade jams with this nailer. And I will note that when we were getting these jams, we were using the correct nails, the angled nails, a fully charged battery, and we even replaced the nail coils to see if it would reduce the jams, and it did not. We also tried to use this nailer to install hardy siding over Advantech sheathing. The nailer did not have enough power to put the nail through the hardy siding. In fact, it punched the nail back, recoiled back, um, resulting in a, in a half driven nail. So we couldn't use it on that. The pneumatic nailer can do that. Um, we'd like to see DeWalt basically improve a couple things on this nailer. We definitely want to see them reduce the weight as well as the recoil. My overall impression on this nailer, the speed of the gun is fantastic, but the weight is still a factor. The DeWalt cordless coil roofing nailer is definitely designed for small, quick roofing repair jobs uh, like the shed we did. Larger jobs, guys, you're gonna require a pneumatic gun as there's no doubt, but there's no doubt in my mind that this DeWalt nailer could tackle a full roof. It's just too heavy and I think the recoil is gonna fatigue you over time. Look, we can all agree that cordless nailers are convenient for an ideal for service jobs, right? Service repair jobs, lack of hose, compressor, lack of gas cartridges alone make this cordless nailer attractive. So kudos to DeWalt for trailblazing this nailer to the market. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to follow Concord Carpenter and Toolbox Buzz on Instagram. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time here at Toolbox Buzz.